Let's look at a few ways to freeze a frame, play a layer in reverse, and use slow motion. First, let's freeze a frame. I'll begin with the police chase car web composition and move the current time indicator to a frame, say here, that I want to freeze. Now you might think that you should go to layer, time, freeze frame. But look what happens when I RAM preview that. The RAM preview is currently playing, but nothing's changing. The freeze frame command is just making the frame frozen for the entire duration of the layer. So I'll press Control Z to undo that. And instead, go to layer, time, enable time remapping, which gives me a time remap keyframe at either end of my layer. Now, because we're going to be stretching this layer out, we should make the composition longer to accommodate it. So I'll press Control K or Command K on Mac OS bring up the Composition Settings dialog box, and extend this out to 10 seconds. Click OK. I'll use the zoom slider here so that we can see the entire composition. And I'll extend the layer by dragging, or what I find more convenient is to press the End key to go to the end of the composition, and then use the Alt right bracket key to trim the out point so that it comes to the current time indicator. All right, now let's freeze that frame. So this is the frame that I want to freeze. I'll click this button right here, the Add or Remove Keyframe at Current Time button. That creates a new keyframe. Then I'll select these two keyframes and move them down a bit by just dragging one of them. As long as both are selected, if I drag one, they both come along. I'll just drag it out about two seconds. Now I'll shift click this keyframe to deselect it. Now, if this is the only keyframe that's selected, if I press Control C, that's the one that I copy. Now, if I press Control V, that keyframe that I just copied will be pasted at the current time indicator. So here, I press Control V. So now, let's look in the graph editor to see what I just did. We have the layer playing back at its normal speed here, as you can see by this slope that is a one-to-one -one slope. Then you have a flat area and a flat area in the graph indicator for time remapping means a frozen frame. And then you have the same one-to-one -one slope for the rest of the layer duration. So normal speed, frozen frame, normal speed. If I press home to go back to the beginning and then begin a RAM preview, and there we go. I'll go back to layer bar mode. Now notice that our layer goes on for quite a while after our last time remapping keyframe, and the last time remapping keyframe is the end of the image data for the layer. So what we can do is press K a few times. Each time you press K, it goes to the next keyframe. If you press J, it goes to the previous keyframe. So here, I'll press K until I get to that last keyframe. Then I'll press N to make the work area end there, and I'll press Alt right bracket, or option right bracket on Mac OS, to trim the out point to that point. Then I'll go to Composition, Trim Comp to Work Area, to trim the composition to the work area that we just set. And there, now we have a layer and a composition that are both exactly the length of our animation. I'll do a RAM preview again. That's how you freeze a frame in the middle of a layer and then let it keep playing. What about having that same area be played in slow motion instead of simply frozen? Let's go to the graph editor. So this slope here is regular speed, this flat slope is frozen, and this slope here is again regular speed. Slow motion would be a slope that is shallower than this one, but still not quite flat. One way that you can make that happen is to simply select a keyframe and move it a little bit. So if I move it up just a little here, then we see that we go from normal slope to shallow slope to roughly normal slope again. So one way to ease into the animation more is to make these Bezier keyframes. I'll Alt-click to make that a Bezier keyframe, and I'll Alt-click this one here to make it a Bezier keyframe. And now drag the influence handles so that we have a smooth animation. And now I'll do a RAM preview of this. Let 
Looks like I managed to reverse the playback direction a little bit there. Notice how this direction handle is pointing down. So there. And I'll move this one a little bit. There. Now we go regular speed, slow down, ease into a freeze, then speed up back to regular. Go ahead and delete these keyframes in the middle by selecting them and pressing delete. And now let's try playing the layer back in reverse. One way to do that is just to drag that up there and drag this one down so that now with the slope being angled downward, playback is reversed. If we go back to layer bar mode, we can see here that this time remapping keyframe is currently set to 4 seconds. And the first one was set to 5. If we want to play the entire layer back in reverse at regular speed, we'd want this one set to 5, because it's a 5 second animation. And this one's set to 0. So I'll type 0 there. Ram preview that. But there's actually an easier way to reverse the playback of a layer. I'll remove this time remapping by clicking the stopwatch to remove all time remapping keyframes. And then choose Layer, Time, Time Reverse Layer. Notice the little cross hatches indicate that this layer is going to be playing back in reverse. I'll RAM preview. So if you just want a layer to play back at regular speed in reverse, it's easier to use that command than to use time remapping to move the keyframes around yourself. So that's how to freeze a frame, how to get fine control over slow motion, and how to play a layer back in reverse.